गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चो वेलकम टू ज्ञान सब एजुकेशन टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद वर्ल्ड मैपिंग सीरीज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज अबाउट कॉन्टिनेंस एंड ओशन सो एज वी हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास अबाउट द लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड लैटिट्यूड्स सो वी हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड दैट अ ग्लोब कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ टू डी रिप्रेजेंटेशन व्हिच इज अ मैप सो हियर इज द मैप of the world how it looks the different color represents a land masses and the white color in between are the oceans so these are big land masses which are known as continents so how many continents are there in the, the earth so we have divided into seven which is asia Africa North America South America Antarctica Europe and Australia So if we see the continents so if we see the continents we will differentiate the continents into two division the first is according to the population and the second is according to the area in area means which is the largest continent which is the smallest continent like that so if we represent uh, represented according the according to the area the first is asia this is the largest continent in this earth the second is africa the third is north america the fourth is south africa no so oh, sorry south america the fifth is antarctica sixth is europe and the seventh is australia so the largest is so the largest is asia and the smallest is australia according to the area second the continents according to the population again the first is asia so the largest population is in asia second is africa third is europe fourth is north america fifth is south america sixth is australia and the seventh is antarctica so if we represent it according to the population the first is asia the second is africa the third is north america the fourth is south america fifth is antarctica the sixth is europe and the seventh is australia according to the area if we now do ranking according to the population asia is again one africa is again second the third here is europe the fourth is north america fifth is south america so the sixth is australia and the seventh is antarctica now if we look into the oceans so the largest ocean is pacific here located pacific then the com- then it comes atlantic ocean the third is indian ocean the fourth is southern ocean and the fifth is arctic ocean it is according to the size so the largest is the pacific and the s- smallest is arctic ocean so how many oceans are there number 1 is pacific number 2 is atlantic number 3 is indian ocean number 4 is southern or antarctic sea antarctic ocean and number 5th is arctic so there is five oceans in this con- in this so if we see where the oceans are located in between which continents 
so the pacific here is also a pacific here is also same pacific because the map is a 2d representation so the pacific is in both sides so now if we see that in between the asia australia in between asia australia and north america and south america it is the pacific which is the largest ocean second is uh, between north america and south america north america south america and europe and africa between it's a s shape it's a s shape ocean so north atlantic and south atlantic the same next the third is indian ocean indian ocean is between africa asia and australia southern ocean is between australia and antarctica and arctic is the above north america is north america let's put in a single map everything so that we remember let's see see this is a blank map let's do so the largest is asia asia the second is africa the third is north america the fourth is south america the fifth is antarctica the sixth is europe and the seventh is australia it's according to the size i have done and now the oceans so oceans the a uh, between asia and north america is pacific pacific this is the s shape so it is be uh, atlantic atlantic here it is indian between australia and antarctica it is that is southern southern and above the north america it is arctic arctic so we can also write in the atlantic as the equator passes from the south american region here so it divides the if equator passes it divides into north hemisphere and south hemisphere same way atlantic will be named as north atlantic and south atlantic so this is the continents and oceans so we come to the end of this chapter so if you have liked this chapter lecture do subscribe for more thank you have a great day